Hey fellow berry cultivators, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, episode 123, Berry Balcony. Once, we're, we're very close to coming up with the design that then I can utilize and roll out everywhere. So we don't want the fence looking weird like that. Can I put a slab block? I could put a slab block like that, but then it's wider than I'd probably want it. I could have the fence be higher. I'm going to see what that looks like from up there when I put the fence tiles down. Would wood look better? Um, I could put wood fences. Everything about the base so far has been cobblestone, but I, I could pull on that because I have plenty of wood fences. What material fence? Wood or cobblestone? And if you want to see the wood fences in, uh, I could prototype that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that, def that definitely works. So I would move this rack so that this was flush. In fact, I'll do that now. And I think I would be going around the farms and not this way around the smithy. So it's not going to wrap around the entire base necessarily. Um, so that is a big scope of a project. Come on, game. I kind of wish that, and there's probably a mod for it, that when you are hovering over a spot with a block, it shows you like a ghost outline of what you will get placing it where you're looking. Would be nice. No. I think I have to drop for this. It seems like cobblestone's winning out by a few votes. That's good enough for me. Oh no, wood overtook. I'll put them both down so you, you can see the difference um, for those that have not yet voted. So if we went with wood... would look like that. And then, if you're wondering what that looks like from the outside... I do like that it, um, either way we go with, it helps to break up the sort of solid monotony that we currently have. Just checking up on my little crop. 
croplings over here. We're good. Okay. Uh, wood wins. Let's just call it. So that I can actually get... Ooh, okay. So I can actually get to work. Hey, another pear tree! Alright, so this one died. I'll try to plant another apple. That one is still fertilizing, potentially. I don't really want a birch tree in my front yard. This is what I meant by, like, landscaping or aquascaping. So that it's easier to move around. And that one's still fertilizing. So we'll get the other... Oh, dang it. There's so many bushes. We'll get the other, um... The other apple cutting and, and uh, get that in where the, the pear died. They both do look good. Yeah, I, I agree. Either way, it looks better than what we currently have. So, like, it's only an improvement is maybe a, a, a useful way to think about it. So no matter what we do, it, I think, makes the base look better. Getting, like, a fruiting bush balcony type thing. So... No matter what it is, it's an improvement. So I'm out of dirt. Uh, so let's grab some. Is it a storm? I think it's a storm. Hey, Biodon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping in. Watching old content. I appreciate it. YouTube algorithms have changed since I became a YouTuber, making um, life more difficult for me. So when people go back and watch old series, it definitely helps. Oh, hi, bunnies. Yeah, uh, bye. <laughs> uh, that's rough, bunnies. Only the strong bunny may survive. So the thought is to wrap this around with a path that leads to this weird hallway area so only sort of um encompassing the uh the farms wow these currents are not ripe i think the cranberries are probably closer the other thing i've always wanted to do is to terraform the surrounding hills a little bit flatten them out and now that i need the um the low fertility soil, it's a good opportunity to kind of do that. shovel just break already. I wanted to go until the shovel broke. The shovel's hanging on. Did 
Durability three. <laughs> and it's broken. Meteoric iron is tough, yeah. I mean, it survived re-entry from space. So... One could imagine... If burning up in the atmosphere didn't destroy it... It's a tough stuff. So then we have to prototype what this path looks like. Uh, but, um, we'll figure that out soon. Alright, Wode. And... Cattail. Now oh, this is tech cattail stem. All right. Uh, continuing the path. Oh Jesus! It'd be like that, huh? There we go. You enjoy the YouTube content? Well, thank you. Try my best to keep y'all entertained. And a huge part of my channel, of course, is to incorporate uh, your all, your feedback and everything. So, involving the community as much as I can. That's always top of mind for me. Like, take this project, for example. You decided, you all decided in voting where the project would take place, what materials to use, um, a lot of the aesthetic choices. All right. I don't know how that will look, but we'll find out soon. Uh, I probably need to lay the path blocks down before I can put the sidewalls. Oh, water voids. <laughs> that looks funny. You notice, oh, he woke up. I'm gonna say he's kind of out of it. I don't know if he's gonna ra ra rouse for the treat, but he did. Uh, yeah, making steel takes a very long time in game. That is true. Now, the only issue is where I have my stairs here don't really work. I could stick a door here instead. Um... I was actually considering moving the location of these stairs to somewhere better. But, um, I never got around to that. And I'll be chiseling out that corner there that looks wrong once everything else is done. Now, the other question I have right now is, should I continue making balconies and do the other side now or a new task? I can always return at a later date. Uh, I think what makes most sense is once I have this balcony done, to actually plant it with berries and then if you want me to continue with building the other side, I could do that. There's no point in having these balconies built without berries growing on it. Because all it's going to do is cause bunnies to spawn. And I don't really want that. I'm not trying to make a big bunny spawner. I wonder if the cheese is ready yet.
No. Wow, it's slow. <laughs> Suppose like real life. I'm avoiding those corners so that it can chisel them out a little bit easier. Let's do that right now before I forget. No, that's a knife. What am I doing? Hammer and chisel. Knives and chisels are similar looking, to my credit. All right. I will say that the terrain underneath me, like the, the exposed dirt underneath the base, um, could be, I you know, I could make, I could put work into making it look better. But, um, all in due time. I don't think I want to work it in nighttime. Oh man, there's nowhere for cattails. Uh, oh, speaking of bunnies, because I have, um, just exposed grass here, we've got ourselves a bunny spawner in the base. I haven't replaced all the path blocks yet. Just trying to clean up my inventory so that it's not a mess. I'll keep the uh, the pieces that are relevant to what I'm working on. Oh, uh, I'm doing that wrong. There we go. This is the materials I need for building and everything else can get put away. Including the water bucket. We're almost done with all that onion soup I made. Or stew. I think there's one more use. Yep. So soon we'll have to, or maybe I'll, I'll cook up uh, while I'm sleeping. So our vegetable has been met. Our veggie needs. It's maybe not a bad idea to try different nutrition. So I don't really have uh, anything else available to me. Unless I want to eat lumps of fat, which I don't. Turnip pie. No, turnip stew. That'll have to do. We do have a lot planted, which will uh, elevate my diet, but it's going to be a minute before that becomes the case. this did the uh did you get pregnant yes we have a pregnant generation one now so I, I no longer really need to feed them as a result you guys want me to continue the balcony task so i'm gonna get um i'm gonna get the balcony um uh, that I just built to have uh, bushes on them, and then I'll build the other side. I could go and kill those bunnies in the bush for meat. Um, 
I just don't want to deviate too far from my working plan because it's very easy to go down, for lack of a better term, the rabbit hole and end up not really working on what I intended to. Very easy to do in this game. So we already have black currants plant up there. I don't really think it matters that they're all, oh, what? Oh, right. Ripen and flower are different. So, um, hmm. Let's, I think what I'm going to do is move all the black currants that I have. Do I have black currant bushes nearby? Cranberries, currants, currants. Okay, this is, oh, this is a mix of white and black. So I'll group them together. So that each part of the, um, the balcony has like, a different type of berry for the sections. So I think that's all the black currants that were there. I think these are all red. Yep, these are all red currants. Oh, another dead tree cutting. Two fruit trees is uh, like not an unreasonable. That's it's pretty. It's honestly pr it's pretty good. They have a 40% chance of survival. I'm happy. We'll do a pink apple tree. So the reason I'm doing apple trees now is their vertilization temperatures are warmer than the pears. So they have a greater chance to vertilize in the current temperatures, but I don't, I think we're kind of past that as it's May 7th now, meaning that like, it's not gonna get cold enough to vertilize the stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe. Like twelve to fourteen more black currant bushes uh will do. So let's go and find them. And then we'll move uh maybe the other colored currants. So maybe that section of the farm will all be currants. And then the other half could be like blueberries and cranberries. Do I know that I can trim the bushes with shears? Uh, a, par, a, a pose from a knife. Uh, my knife is made of meteoric iron and the shears have made of... Um, of 10. Oh, it makes them smaller. Oh, I didn't know that. But the yields are the same, I'm assuming. I could always do that. Make them look cleaner. Domesticated, if you will. Thanks for the tip. So I've got... We said, like, I don't know, 12, 13 black current bushes. And relocating um, fruiting bushes to your base makes it so much easier to collect fruit during fruit blooming seasons, allowing you to really utilize your uh, fruit presses. Oh, hi, dear. Your fruit presses, stills, etc. Uh, one of the things I want to do once um, we have a lot more flax is obviously I want to make a glider again. 
so I can fly around. But another is to make myself a tailored Gambeson uh, set of armor. Um, and that will allow me to um, more accurately use a bow. Because that, that's one thing I hadn't done in the game is use bows and arrows. And I'm not necessarily against it. I was just wearing armor that ruins my accuracy. It doesn't really make sense to try to use bows and arrows because it's pretty miserable to hit things accurately. What's the hotkey for, um, oh geez, uh, big lag. What is the hotkey for minimap? F6. Somehow I hit F6. Turn off my minimap. Chain armor doesn't have as as worse as terrible accuracy penalties, but as you can see, the accuracy is 91% and the charge speed is 82, wearing full chain. So it's not awful. Much worse would be like plate, scale, or brigandine for the steel tier. So it could be a lot worse. But um, one of the other reasons to use the gambeson is gambesons don't have speed penalties, so you can chase your hunting game faster. So the Gambeson doesn't have super high protection, right? You're, you're not going to want to fight uh, tier three or four enemies wearing a t uh, just tailored Gambesons, but um, you will move very fast wearing it because it doesn't have movement speed penalties and it doesn't have accuracy penalties, so you can aim well with it. So they're very, the Gambesons are really good uh, gear to use for travel. I'm kind of bored of getting cat tail. That's why I'm moving on. They're very good to use for traveling um, because there's no speed penalties, there's no food penalties. I I'll show you. So I'm talking about the Gambeson armors here. There's there's um, barely any hunger or walk speed penalties. Um, and there's no accuracy penalties at all. But it's a protection tier two. Uh, and then you can do I think this one is um, a clothier version, which I don't have access to, but these don't even have any penalties at all for, for walk speed. I could try to buy the tailored version. Um, there's a small chance of me buying the tailored version, but without being a clothier, I only have access to the untailored version, which does have that small walk speed penalty, but it's a, it isn't a significant factor for hunting. Um, but that, that's something I could do if I had a lot of linen. So if I had a lot of linen, there's a bunch of different projects to do. One would be to get the glider. Oh, hey, that is... Yeah, this worked. I don't have anything in the trap. So this was the original trap that I had to try to trap chickens for a chicken coop. Was not expecting it to be legit full of chickens down there. I hadn't checked it in a while, but my god, it worked. I felt bad, because like I really honestly spent a long time trying to trap them, and like just I simply couldn't make it work. But now it is full. And there were bunnies down there too, yeah. Alright, come on, black currents, where are you? If you all spot any, let me know. All right, well, that's birch. Looks like black card. Also, if I want to get blueberries, I don't live near blueberry bushes, so I would have to travel pretty far. So that other side just might be like exclusively cranberries. a flex screen. Flint knife, flint shovel. Uh, that I do not care about.
Hamburgers are an inferior variant in game. Yeah, they have less C80. I know. It's just what's around me. They, the advantage of the cranberries, though, although they have less C80, is that their growing seasons are, I believe, wider than the other berries. So what they lack in C80, they gain in growing season if you are um, W, Gen, Poss, Latitude. If you're at 47 degrees north, like I am. Which is pretty far north. And they last longer than the bears, yeah. So. I'm not against growing cranberries for those specific reasons. Because I live so far north. I did not think that trying to acquire these berry bushes would take this long. Ah, oh, here we go. Twelve. Alright, we'll settle for twelve. Mostly for my sanity. Yeah, that, that uh, elevated farm looks nice from here. Obviously, I lose out on growing space by adding the fence, but I think the fence actually makes it kind of look attractive. And you can see the waterlogged blocks because these are uh, farmlands. That looks really funny. You could actually use that as like a design, a uh, purposeful design idea. Oh, there's another dead one. Personally, I don't care much for currants, IRL. Blueberries would be my jam. Pun partially intended. So there are the lovely black currants and we'll go to red currants Will it get better this game year for flax, you mean? I have a lot of flax planted. And um, when I started the game, it's worth noting, I start with, I start at zero, right? Like episode one of this series, I'm like, naked with no tools. So I wasn't really able to fully take advantage of farming the first year, the first growing season, because you're doing other things. You're just trying to basically survive on your zero. Um, but now I have something like 150 flax plots currently growing. Uh, it's going to be much easier for me to get an incredible amount of flax yield as a result of that. Um, which will definitely allow me to do a lot more interesting things like make uh, ore blasting bombs or make um, tailored gambeson armor or uh, make a full set of sails so that even in low wind I'm not, you know, struggling. 
so yeah uh to answer you 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 as you progress in the game things do get easier as that is how you would assume in progression path um Well, yeah, right now I have so much more um, flax and uh, so much more uh, just all crops planted than I ever really did before. So it's going to be very easy for me to multiply my efforts. Cheese is still ripening. I'm just checking... We have lactation here. Even the generation, um, the generation one uh, land, or sheep are just so much easier to milk. Okay, so we're looking for red or white currants. We've kind of already planted all the black currants. I could move the red currants to make room for black currants, but like really any currants is what we're looking for. So let's keep going. And I'll probably, once I'm done planting all this stuff, I'm going to double check that you guys want me to continue working towards this goal. Because I'm a little worried, given the time that it takes to collect all the berry bushes, uh, that you will want me to work on other things. But yeah, it's very safe to say that like, even once you have a tailor, a set of tailored gambus in, you've maintained and repaired all of your clothing because repairing clothing requires linen as well. And you have a full set of sails and a glider, which is any additional flax can be used to, um, um, uh, for ore blasting bombs. So even when you're like, all right, I have used all of my linen for all of these like projects, you can start mining with linen too, which is why it's one of those materials that like you really just never can get enough of. Whereas like everything else in the game, there's definitely a a, a maximum, right? Like there it is not collecting like resin or fat or things like they're not infinitely useful necessarily whereas like linen you really can never have enough which is why i'm constantly saying to new players just like plant all flax like you have flax plant it protect it plant it because if you reach a point where you don't need flax anymore you've reached a point where i probably don't have advice for you anymore because when you have all the flax you want you're in the end game now you are a well-advanced survivor in vintage story and yeah even beyond that bandages bandages and ore blasting bombs um you, your clothing will regularly oh another resin tree uh your clothing will regularly require repairs so like there's never not a, a, a need for it truly so i've got okay Let's get some additional current bushes and then plant them and see what we got. I'm going to need to start venturing a little bit further from my comfort zone base area because we have pretty much plucked all the bushes in the immediate area now. So double continuing to explore the same spots is not worthwhile. Yeah, you're welcome for the explanation. Absolutely. Yeah, linen just fulfills a ton of different utility that uh, that makes it a relatively unique crop compared to the other crops.
More flint knives. Like, game. Please. You could definitely award me with something better than, like, a flint tool that takes 10 seconds to to nap. Whoa, big lag spike. I wonder what that's about. Is it rendering new chunks, maybe? Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 21st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs.